No, that thumbnail was not just bait to make you click on this video. It is true. DIY GoPro mounts are back and we're kicking it off with a really cool one. This is a DIY backpack strap mount. In this video, we're gonna look at how to milk this super cool backpack mount for your GoPro camera. Now, it's a really easy build. It's not gonna take very long. You can probably build the entire thing if you've got the materials in about 15 minutes. So the nice thing with backpack strap mounts are they allow you to get the camera at a kind of chest mount angle without actually having to wear a chest mount. It's a, it's a mount you just strap on to the backpack you're wearing. It's a really cool looking mount and it's a lot easier to wear this than a chest mount. Now let's get into how we build it. The first thing and the most important thing we're gonna need is a hard backing material. In my case, I'm using a piece of cutting board. Now you can pick this up at a local dollar store for a couple of bucks. If you don't wanna go that route, plexiglass or uh, something like that would work very, very well as well. Then you're gonna need some mounting hardware. You're gonna need two quarter by 20 inch bolts. You don't have to be quarter by 20, but that's what I'm using. Two quarter by 20 inch bolts two quarter by 20 inch nuts to go along with them, and then two quarter by 20 inch wing nuts to allow us to tighten the whole thing down and make it removable. Then we're gonna need a flat GoPro adhesive mount to actually finish creating the mount. In terms of tools, we don't need that much. We need a measuring tape, some pliers, a saw, a screwdriver, and finally, a marker to mark off what we're going to do. Our first step is gonna be cutting a long strip out of our hard backing material. So I'm gonna cut this strip about two inches wide as that is the width or the height of a GoPro flat adhesive mount. So I'm gonna cut that off and then I'm gonna cut it in half. Now you don't have to cut it in half. You just wanna cut the two pieces the same length and make them about three inches long each. Now your width of your mount may vary depending on the width of backpack strap you wanna be able to accept. Uh, so measure your backpack straps and then figure out how big your piece needs to be with those pieces all cut down to the same size, it's time to mark off our holes. I'm going about a half inch in from each side and then centering it up and down. Drill the holes at about a quarter of an inch so there's room for your bolt to go through. One size up if you wanna make it even easier and not fuss about tolerances too much. That's what I did. And then we're gonna thread through our two bolts, spin on the two nuts, and with those on, we're gonna tighten them down so that when we undo the wing nuts, that first connection doesn't move. So tighten those down, screwdriver and wrench to do that. Now you notice I'm using a machine bolt with a smooth curved head, that way that there's no uh, sharp surfaces pressing into my body. You can use a standard bolt if you want, but if you can find a nice uh, machine head bolt, that would be preferable. Finally, we're gonna take the final piece of the mount we're gonna throw our flat adhesive mount on the center of it and then slide that whole contraption onto the two protruding bolts out of the back piece of our mount. We'll put that over top of the backpack strap and then we'll spin on the two wing nuts. We'll tighten those down once we get the mount in the position we want it to be in, tighten it down. And finally, it's just time to throw our GoPro onto a U buckle mount and snap it or a J mount, sorry and then snap it on to the backpack strap mount. I would recommend picking up a few different sizes or lengths of bolts so that you can play with it. Mine are a little bit too long and in the future, I'm gonna swap them out for a little bit shorter ones so that I don't have these huge bolts sticking out of my mount, but I wasn't quite sure how much bolt I was gonna need with backpack strap widths and the mount was gonna go into the bolts and stuff. So. Better safe than sorry, but if you're at the hardware store, pick up a few different lengths that look about right, and then you can play with it once you're finished. Swap them out for smaller ones if they're gonna fit, or you could just cut them off. All in all though, it's a really simple mount to make. It doesn't take much work. You don't have to be that precise. It's really easy to do. It's a fun mount to make. So if you've got a GoPro camera and some of this hardware kicking around, you should totally make one. It gives you a really cool and very useful mount. Whenever you go hiking with your GoPro and you've got a backpack, it's really easy to be able to throw this on and take it with you. You get a cool uh, shot, you get your hands in the shot, you get your, some of your knees in the shot. You get the shot that's a lot less floaty than a head strap mount and a lot more grounded. So it's a really cool angle, it's a cool mount, and it means you don't have to take a chest mount with you to get the angle you want to get when you use a chest mount. Guys, if you like DIY projects, like the video. If you wanna see more of them, tell me so down in the comments below. I do wanna do more of them. They're a lot of fun to make. 
And um, at this point, I'm just looking for cool ideas that are actually worth sharing with you. This was definitely one of them. If you've got some, leave them down there or send them to me over on Facebook or by email. If you build one of these, send me a photo on Facebook and I'll share it with the community to get them inspired and them building their own. But most of all, guys, if you like the video, like it, subscribe. But most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.